fight. Clash of Champs. Download free. No, it wasn't a risk. I mean, we had the option if, we, if we'd wanted to, to squeeze in a, a voluntary defence um, before the end of the year. But Gareth, you, you know, and most of you guys who are boxing uh, journalists would understand it's hard to get a guy motivated for a fight that we couldn't pay him really big money for. Mm. We would have struggled to get a venue because they're all booked up six months in advance and uh, and then do it again sort of so we thought best just we'll rest out Christmas we'd, we'd hope to get in before Christmas we couldn't get a venue so we're now going on the end of January so it doesn't really matter he's trained over Christmas I don't think he's had a Christmas for about eight years yeah. seven eight years so you know fights always tend to be either before it's okay if it's, if it's, be, if it's before but nearly always just after Christmas but it was so, one of his toughest fights as well wasn't without, it and so it, you're going it, straight it, into it again yeah it was definitely his toughest fight um, but uh, Carl is, I think, still improving. He's still getting better, mm. and I think he will win more convincingly this time. It'll be a great fight every every time, because they have that clash of styles. But but Frampton will beat him more convincingly this time. Are you happy with Train Camp going into this fight? Oh yeah, he's knocked out at least two of his sparring partners in, in preparation for this. He is very strong. He's hitting very hard. If you'd seen him last night, watch him working out. It's. I mean, I mean, we don't. We deliberately don't let the press in because um, we don't give away any tactics of what sort of form or what our tactical approach is going to be to the fight. But I think most of us can gather. I don't think from uh, Santa Cruz can. Can he's talking about using his range? That, that's all smoke screens. He's gonna as soon as that bell goes, he's gonna come straight at car. That's what's, that's what's gonna happen, and we're gonna be in for a great fight. And you'd retired by this age, hadn't you? No, I'd been. I, I retired at 28. You'd so, retired a year already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I already g got out uh, with um, with my faculties intact. Uh, no, no, I, I I'd lost the I'd lost the ambition for the game, mm. and um, my father had passed away, and. Mm. Uh, and my brother was unwell and it was just a very bad time for me. I'd gone through that sort of two years of litigation with my ex-manager and it was a pretty shitty time all around so I just decided it, it, it was time to get out. So I, I had lost my drive and once you lose your drive it's, you know, head for the hills guys, you know, don't mess around. Le leading, to, leading into what I asked that was because just ask Carl, and he's 30 coming up, mm. isn't he? Mm. He reckons he's probably got six fights, eight fights left. He wants to be out yeah. by the end of 33, yeah. early 34. Yeah. Do, do you advise him on that as well? Yes. Um, I think get in, make your impact, and get involved in as many fights that people remember, mm. very exciting fights. Mm. And it's also, you need to pick opponents to get exciting fights. We knew the Quig wasn't going to be exciting. We didn't see it because it would have affected the amount of uh, pay-per-view sales, but we knew it was going to be a tactical fight. We knew that he wouldn't come to Carl, and then Carl would, would get right out in front, and then he'd sort of batten down the hatches and Quig would come at him. Mm. But he didn't really come at him with a vengeance because his jaw was broken, and yeah. in fairness to him, he didn't have the same... Uh, he was afraid of getting nailed again. And if he'd have been reckless early on, Carl would have knocked him out. I'm absolutely, definitely sure about that. Um, and it turned out to be a disappointing fight. So I knew that it was important to get him involved in a fight where a guy would come at him and fight with him. And mm -hmm. Santa Cruz was perfect for that. And I knew that, that if they fought every day of the week and twice on Sunday, it would be a fantastic fight. Yeah. Well, it, the, the amateur game and the pro game are, are, are two different sports. And it's... To my mind, uh, the pro game separates the boys from the men, and it's very tough to be successful. If you're stylish and fast enough with the protective gloves in the amateur game, you can go to great lengths. And we've seen it many times before. Uh, it's happened uh, loads of times, and Audley Harrison is probably a case, in fact, where he was an outstanding amateur but couldn't do it as a pro because you need to be tough as a pro, you need to be able to digest punishment. You need to have much more about you as a, as a pro fighter, because it's 12 rounds and it may be 15. So there's a longer time for you to, uh, for your weaknesses to be exposed, and that's, that 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 happens. So we uh, we have a couple of kids coming, turning professional in in, in Ireland. Katie Taylor, re rel relatively late in her life, has 
turned pro at 30 years old. Uh, Michael Conlon has uh, has turned over as well, and there's all sorts of rumours about him being a huge success. But it's a tough game. It's a very difficult game, and it'll be interesting to see how he progresses. But we all wish him the best. Well, uh, kind of talking about that, uh, De Gale, uh, about this last Saturday, he got off to a quick start, knocked Jack down. Yeah. And he's won the gold medal. Is that kind? Of, was that sort of? He's the, he's the first uh, UK fighter to actually win a, a, a first British fighter, a British Olympic gold medalist to win a world the title. world title. Yeah, that's so right. that, incredible, so that, that, isn't it? So that, yeah. that, that, that is, I mean, that's indicative of what the point I was making. Mm, right. You don't, guys that are good amateurs, by and large, are not always the best pros because it's the, it's the punching surface of the glove is so much smaller, it's the, the, the gloves are so much more damaging, the longer distances, it can expose weaknesses, tough guys can frustrate you and then you can lose your head and come apart. So there's a hundred different reasons why guys don't actually make it as, as professional fighters uh, and do as, as amateurs. So. And if you look, and Gareth is probably cognizant of this, there has been a bit of a lull in amateur or professional boxing in, in Ireland over the last number of years. Brian Peters put on some good shows uh, during a period of about 10 years ago, but then there's been a, a real lull. Mm -hmm. uh, the economy didn't help, and it's more difficult to get television over there and exposure, and it's more difficult for to get uh, UK television companies to travel to the south of Ireland, so it's tougher. Uh, to put on shows and be successful. We want to revisit their, uh, our, our promotional company in the next couple of years. So we're, um, we're very much involved, uh, and I'm going to be signing uh, some kids over there. We've had incredible success. It has singularly been the most successful sport of any sport in Ireland in the history of the Olympic Games. Uh, amateur boxing, world championships, international competition, it has beaten every other sport hands down. We have more champions in boxing. But in the last while, there hasn't been a great deal of success professionally. But we've got Quigley. Mm -hmm. We've got um, uh, we've got Conlon turning over. We've got Frampton. Uh, we've got Taylor. So there's a lot Barnes. of excitement. Paddy Barnes is turning over again, mm -hmm. relatively late in his career. Um, Paddy was never a puncher uh, mm -hmm. as an amateur, but could turn out to be a, a, a more decent puncher as a pro. But, um, yeah, so... But led by this guy, he's he's the shining light, and, and it's it's, um, it's 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 great. It's is there great time. An, uh, we know a Mexican style, like like his opponent Santa Cruz yeah. typifies. The, is there an Irish style? Uh, no, I I think we're versatile. We, I mean, I was aggressive, non-stop aggression, head movement, walk you down, make you fight. Mm -hmm. But I was, uh, I, I didn't, I wasn't a boxer, and I didn't have. I, I didn't have enough versatility about me as a as a fighter. He's better at going back less effective at going forward, but getting better at it. And so it's, there's no style. Conlon is a flashy box fighter. Um, he wasn't Taylor. called a cyclone for nothing, yeah, basically. Just, uh, That's the point. How's the game changed over the years from your fighting days then to now? The, uh, the, 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 game, the game has changed in the sense that um, uh, I think you're getting bigger athletes squeezing into the weight, and with that comes danger. Um, and we've had a bad year in the UK. Um, a number of uh, we've had a couple of uh, of a couple of um, uh, deaths and um, uh, very serious injuries. So it's it's been a bad time for for professional boxing in the UK. And and so you ask me what's the difference over the last couple of years? Get, athletes are bigger because we've got a 24 hours to 30 hour weigh in issue. So the guys can weigh in and come in up to 15, 16, sometimes. Um, Chavez Jr. will come in 20 pounds heavier. Um, so that's probably why. So when you look at the guys in the ring, they're not featherweights. You know what I'm saying? Right. They, they weigh in featherweights, but, but because of modern technology and modern know-how and, and dietitians and strength and conditioning coaches, they're bigger. Uh, but the game is relatively the same. Still, still great fighters. Um, and still great fights. You're featherweight champion, yeah. so I want to ask you, who was on the short list of the greatest featherweights of all time? Oh, criminy. There's a list of them, you know, <laughs> um, Sandy Sadler, Willie Pep, uh, Azuma Nelson, uh, Eusebio Pedroza, um, Nassim Hamad, tremendous fighter. Uh, God, I mean, 
you put me on the spot. Danny Lopez was a great fighter from the West Coast. Little Red Lopez. Danny, Red, little yeah. Red yeah. Lopez. Yeah. What a fighter he was. He had to be knocked down before he woke up and then he knocked everybody <laughs> out. He was, what a fighter he was. <laughs> Salvador Sanchez. Yeah. Mm. Um, what a fighter he was. Um, you know, it's it, you know, guys that stayed at the weight for a long time, whereas Marquez came through it and then right. out the other side. Um, Will Carl be considered amongst all those names when he's yeah, finished? Yeah, without doubt. I mean, that's, that's my job. My job is to, you know, we've all the way through, uh, we've picked fights when I felt he would be fights that, that, that would excite the crowd, be interesting. People talked about uh, Regan Doe and all that. Regan Doe is a stinker. I mean, with the greatest respect, unbelievable talent, but he just doesn't understand. He's so negative. So negative, backing up, backing up, backing up. Brilliantly talented. But and inactive. Yes, and, 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 and inactive. And why is he inactive? Because people aren't interested in him. Because he'd go down to Miami and he couldn't draw half a dozen people. As you say, he can't sell a fight in he, his own he, front room. Exactly. Yeah, he yeah. just doesn't. He's yeah. not. People are not interested because his personality is mm. very closed. He's a very closed There's individual. No English. Yeah. He's just. Mm. He's not interested in learning English. He's very, you know, an amazing talent. And the reason he's that talent is because he's naturally gifted and he's trained ridiculously hard his whole life. But with that comes living a solipsistic environment. You live inside your own little cocoon and nobody gets to know you. You have to get to know people. You have to become popular. You have to go out and shake hands and make friends with people. That's how you get people to come and watch you. It's only a man with his, all his faculties intact that yeah, can say solipsistic, yeah, by the no, way, that, isn't it? That's no? right. That's, that's right. Well, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so, so the, 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 bo the bottom line is... Um, you know, there, there is, there is um, another th two years in Carl, and fingers crossed that we, we, we get through this one, and I, I'm pretty sure we will, um, and then we'll have a big showdown in, in uh, the summer in, in Belfast. And, Looking uh, like Selby. You know, well, fingers saying. crossed yeah. that Selby gets yeah. through. I mean, everything has to yeah. go real yeah. on the 28th, yeah. and he has to win his fight, Carl has to win his fight, and, and without picking up too much injuries. Mm. And then, you know, and we're not looking past Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz is a fabulous fighter and a fabulous young man and somebody we have amazing regard for in every department. And we really think that because he's a humble guy, there's so much conceit and arrogance and bombastic behaviour from athletes, not just boxers, from everybody. Mm -hmm. It's so refreshing to see two nice guys and, and it's so good for the game. Which means you can't leave a stone unturned as no, well no, because you know he'll do his preparation. That's why we're yeah, here a yeah. month beforehand yeah. and we have gone to the nth degree to get ready for this fight because that's the respect we have for him. And we, you know, I know that he said about his dad and everything else and I do understand because my father died of cancer mm. and, uh, you know, I, I've gone through all of that. My daughter had leukaemia so I understand it and I've worked for a cancer charity for, for 17 years so I understand that. But he threw... He, over a thousand punches. He fought the way he always fought. He just met Carl Frampton. Fram, Frampton was just too good for him. And too smart for him. It was a close fight. And I believe this one would be a close fight again. But Carl will win more convincingly.